So we're here with Laura Muir, uh, European 1500 metre champion and newly qualified vet. How are you this morning? Really good, thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here with Simply Health at uh, London Vet Show and um, yeah, it's looking great. How are you finding the vet show so far and is this the first time you've been down? Yeah, it's the first time yeah, I've been down. I've, I've wanted to come for the past few years but I've just not had the time to, to get down here. So um, yeah, it's great to finally be here and yeah, the mount stalls and everything that I've seen is great and the speakers as well. Hopefully we'll go see them later on today and um, yeah, it's a great event. So you do, you do think you're going to get the chance to do a little bit of CPD then? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, hopefully. I'll be looking at some of the shows, yeah. So 2018 has been a big year, well, obviously winning the European title and qualifying as a vet. How on earth did you manage? It was tough, yeah. I think certainly this past year has been the toughest of my life, I think. But um, I just knew my two priorities were, were my degree and, and my running. So, yeah, just kind of all my effort went into both of them. Um, and, yeah, it paid off. You know, I qualified and um, had a very successful track season um, becoming European champion as well. So, um, yeah, it was really tough, but I was just very lucky. You know, I had a lot of support from my coach family and, and my vet school to get me through it. Obviously, you wanted to be a vet from a very early age. Um, and also, you've obviously been a talented athlete for uh, for your whole life. I mean, which was your biggest target as a child? To be honest, I wanted to be a vet. Uh, that was what I wanted to be growing up. Um, I did my running more as like a hobby, kind of alongside it. And then it wasn't until I came to university that I saw a big improvement in my athletics. So I ended up with kind of the two at once, uh, a bit by mistake. But yeah, a vet was really what I always wanted to be. And um, this what happened, the athletics improved a lot. So um, yeah, to have the two now, I just feel so privileged to be in that position where you know, I'm a vet and an athlete, which is kind of two dream um, careers for me, really. Studying for a vet degree is a, is a massive task. How did you manage the workload with the training you had to do for your athletics career? Yeah, it was really tough. I just had to be very good sort of with my time management and I'd kind of go out for on the morning, have placement during the day and then run in the evening um, and study in the evening and just try and fit in any square moment I had to try and fit something in. So yeah, it was quite stressful at times and didn't get much sleep at points too, but um, I just knew that I had to focus on those two if I was to be successful for them. And, it meant missing out on like social events and things away and, and stuff like this, you know, coming from London Vet Show, which I'd love to have done, but I just couldn't prioritise that at the point in time. So, yeah, it was, it was tough and not very much time, but, but I got through it. And well-being is a big issue in the profession at the moment. How would you say physical fitness can help people achieve a good balance and maintain good, healthy work-life balance and, and well-being? I found it's helped me hugely. Yeah, I can't really underestimate the effects of exercise had on me at all. I think, especially in exam times, I know I'd be really, really stressed. And as much as it can be stressful taking time out to go and train, and you're kind of worried about when you're training, you're worrying about, oh, I should be studying, I should be studying. But when you come back, you feel so much better, and it just kind of clears your mind. And it means to be much more productive and much more focused. So, yeah, I think as much as it can be hard to kind of pull yourself away from work sometimes and spend that time on yourself, I think in the end, long run, it really does pay off. And it does make you feel much, much better as a person as well. How does it feel to be a role model for young vets? Um, well, if the people are happy with me to be a role model, then that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, um, I know, yeah, as, as a, for my friends that have certainly qualified and myself, yeah, being a young vet is, is really tough. But um, yeah, hopefully, you know, if I can be there for, you know, as a role model, that you can do both, and you can sort of do sport, or whether it's music or art, and try and combine a little bit. And a vet doesn't have to be your whole identity. You can do other things, and other things that will help your mental health and your physical well-being at the same time. And you don't have to be a, a European champion, do you? You can, you can go out and do all sorts of things to, to get that sort of um, that fitness, can't you? It's not just about being a top-class athlete. People can do all sorts of things to stay fit, can't they? Definitely, yeah, of course. I mean, I think athletics is a great example or, or running because, um, you know, you don't need any fancy equipment. You don't have to go to a certain class at a certain time. If you want to go for a run, you can just go for a run. All you need is a pair, a pair of shorts, T-shirt and trainers, you know, and you can just go out there and have a run and just go whatever pace you fancy. And, I think it's just so flexible that it's just really easy for people to fit into their day and it just really, really helps. So yeah, it's no matter what you're doing, whether it's with running, cycling, swimming, um, just doing a little bit of exercise really does help a lot. And just tell us a little bit about what you're up to with Simply Health today. So I'm here on the stand, um, so that I'm kind of an ambassador sponsor for uh, Simply Health and just yeah, promoting the fantastic work that they do with, with the vet, vet plans and trying to promote um, you know, healthy living, healthy mental health, um, yeah, within the veterinary profession as well. And I know you only qualified earlier this year, congratulations by the way, but what's the best thing about being a vet? Oh, to be honest, I think it just is being a vet. I think it's just, for me, I worked for that for so long, so just sort of got there, I have those initials behind my name, I am a vet, 
And you know, when people ask what do you do, I can say I'm a vet, you know, and it's just that makes me really, really proud. Just to confirm that, so vet first, athlete second. <laughs> I think a little bit of both. I'll go 50-50. Yeah.